Hey friends, thanks so much for stopping by. It's Laurie and today I'm making a Bumblebee welcome wreath DIY and I hope you enjoy it. Getting started, I'm using one of the 14 inch wire wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. I'm also using 12 of their white chenille stems, but you can use any color that you'd like. To attach the mesh, I'm first placing one chenille stem around the wire support on the form and twisting it into place. And after my first one is attached, I'm then attaching five more. With all those in place, I'm now attaching my last six chenille stems. I'm wrapping one around the inside and middle wires, centering it on the form, and then just twisting it into place. I then continued working my way around until I had all the chenille stems attached. To prevent them from moving, I'm just using my glue gun and placing a dot of hot glue under each. For the base of my wreath, I'm using three rolls of 10 inch mesh, black, white, and yellow. You can pick these up just about anywhere, but I'll be linking the site below where I found mine. I'm measuring and cutting eight 20 inch pieces out of all three colors. I'm going to roll my mesh into ruffles and I'm just using some assorted clips to attach them. I placed my scissors on one end of the mesh to hold it in place. I then rolled the opposite end of the mesh about three to four times. Then used my clip to hold it in place. Once again, I rolled my mesh about three to four times and then walked it up to the first ruffle. I then pinched both pieces together and attached them with the clip. For the white piece of mesh, I then once again followed the exact same instructions, rolled the end about three to four times, turned it around and rolled the other end about three to four times and then walked it up to meet the first ruffle. I then clipped the two ends together. With my black and my white ruffle complete, I then followed the same instructions for the yellow. To attach them to the wreath form, I'm now placing the black, the white, and the yellow ruffle into the palm of my hand. I'm now taking the bunch and I'm attaching it to one of the outer chenille stems and then I twisted it into place. I wanted to share with you today that I am participating in the Spring Bee Collab and it's being hosted by Ellie from DIY from House to Home along with Kiki from Kiki DIYs. They both have amazing channels that I will link below in my description along with the playlist and my crafty friends with their bee inspired DIYs. If you're coming over from the playlist or you're just new to my channel and you're enjoying my video so far, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a big thumbs up. And if you're one of my returning friends, I'm so happy to see you. I'm continuing on making my ruffles and I'm alternating the white on the top and then the yellow on the top. This is just personal preference because honestly, once you have the wreath all put together, you truly can't tell what color is where. So once again, I'm placing the ruffles into my hand and I'm attaching them onto the outside of the wreath and then I'm alternating to the inside. So I'm just working my way around, filling the outside, the inside, the outside, the inside until the wreath is completely full. As I'm twisting on the ruffles, I'm folding over any of the excess chenille stems. Now that my wreath is full with my eight ruffle bunches, I'm just going to kind of work it around and fluff it up a bit. I 
I'm adding eight four ribbon clusters on my wreath as accents. They're all wired ribbon and I'm adding a two and a half inch yellow with black polka dots along with the Dollar Tree Buffalo Check ribbon, a pretty daisy and bumblebee burlap ribbon, and a one and a half inch ribbon that's burlap with bumblebees. I purchased these on the same site as the mesh and I'll have that linked below in my description. I'm cutting eight ribbons from each of the two and a half inch spools and I'm measuring them at 13 inches. Now that I'm done, I'm going to dovetail their ends and this is super easy. You just fold the ribbon in half and cut away the end at an angle. I also made another bumblebee wreath that you can come on back and check out after you watch the playlist. Now that I'm done, I'm going to be using my bow maker and for all my friends that were asking, I had picked this up on Amazon. To make my smaller bee bow, I'm giving myself two seven inch tails and two three and a half inch loops. I then added a clip to the center of the bow to hold it together. I'm placing my three ribbons together, the buffalo check and then the daisy burlap. I'm folding them in half to find my center and then giving them a little pinch together. I'm then placing my bee bow over the center. I'm then using a piece of floral wire. I'm placing it over the center of the bow and the ribbons and then twisting them together tightly. When I was done, I then dovetailed the two smaller ribbon ends. I then gave it a little fluffing. I made four ribbon bunches with the buffalo check in the middle. And now I'm making another bee bow with my bow maker, but this time I'm making my ribbon bunches with the daisy burlap in the center and I'm going to make four of these. Now that all eight of my ribbon bunches are complete, I'm going to add them onto the wreath. I'm starting with my four clusters with the buffalo check in the center. And all I'm doing is adding one of the bunches by wrapping the two wires on the underneath center supports. Once I have the bow in place, I just fold over the excess wire. To add my second bow, I'm adding it directly across from the first. With those in place, I'm now adding on my next two bows, evenly placing one on the side between the first two. With that in place, I'm adding my next directly across. I'm now attaching my next four ribbon bunches following the same instructions. But because the mesh ruffles will actually be in the center, this time you're going to attach them over the chenille stem instead of attaching them onto the bottom. And once again, I'm just attaching each of the four bows across from each other. Now that I'm done, I'm just working my way around the wreath and giving all the bows a bit of a fluffing. In the center of my wreath, I'm going to be adding on this really cute bumblebee welcome sign. It's from the same site as the mesh and the ribbons, so I'll have that linked below as well. And I just used my scissors to remove its jute hanger. I'm then finding its placement on the center of the wreath. And because this will be permanently on the wreath, I'm just adding some hot glue to the back and attaching it. I'm adding on two large accent bows and I'm using a two and a half inch Harlequin ribbon. I'm also using three one and a half inch ribbons, this pretty yellow and black check, a burlap bee print ribbon along with a pretty white bumblebee ribbon and they're all from the same site that I've linked below. 
I'm once again using my bow maker and I'm making two eight inch tails and two six inch loops with my Harlequin ribbon. I'm now adding on the black and yellow check and I'm matching the eight inch tails, but this time I'm making two five inch loops. I'm adding on my last two ribbons and I'm starting with the burlap bumblebee. Once again, I'm giving both of them eight inch tails, but this time they're each getting three inch loops. After this bow was complete, I then followed the exact same instructions and I made a second. I'm placing my first one on the wreath in the upper left hand corner and I have it attached at an angle. After I attached it in the back, I then fluffed out my ribbons. I then added my second bow in the lower right hand corner and I added this one at an angle as well. After attaching it in place, I then fluffed up the bows. As my final accent, I'm going to be adding on a handful of silk daisies and you can find these at the Dollar Tree, Michaels or Joann's. And then I simply removed the heads from the stems. Using my glue gun, I attached one in the center of my two large bows. To finish up, I attached the rest of the daisies randomly around the wreath. For some reason, I've had a thing for daisies this year, so you'll probably be noticing them popping up in my videos. I do think, though, that sunflowers would look really pretty on this wreath. And now that I have everything in place, my bumblebee welcome wreath is ready to hang. I'm really happy you stopped by and I hope you enjoyed making this DIY with me. Be sure to check out the Be Inspired playlist. And if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everybody.